This morning on Daybreak, we recap a city council meeting last night that addresses what's going on with the Galloway Village development. And after several strong storms, both around the area and country recently, we look at the insurance side of property damage. Plus, free pancakes today. It's National Pancake Day. Uh, you can get that free short stack while also donating to children in need. We'll have that for you and more this morning on Daybreak. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, March 12th. Joe Morano here with you. Lauren Bornis has the day off. But hey, we're all going to have pancakes today, so that's all right. Hannah Zettel joins us in a little bit to tell us how we can do that. Elisa Raffa, you're here today. Are you a big pancake fan? Yeah, I don't know where you, I, where are they? I don't, you should have had some pancakes <laughs> here for me. I left the batter at home, so sorry. You should have had some. My, my apologies, but Hannah's going to tell us a great story about how local leaders are really helping step up to uh, help kids with the Children's Miracle Network. Oh, cool. Yeah, very nice to see. And of course, the weather very nice. I sat outside a little bit yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was enjoyable. The clouds <laughs> got more holes in there than I was expecting, and we made right. it to 60 degrees. Yeah, I was going to say, a bit warmer than we were thinking, maybe? Yeah, we made okay. it to 60 because we poked more holes in the clouds. Today, <laughs> we'll have those thicker clouds because showers are on their way in right now. Right, right. For most of us, we're drying, but we've got those showers on their way in. All right, yeah, that's that'll be around for the next couple of days, right? Today and yeah. tomorrow. We're starting out at 47 degrees. We've got that thick cloud cover out there this morning, and showers are on their way in. South and east winds pretty steady at 14 miles per hour here this morning. You see, we've got that thick cloud, uh, cloud cover out here, and then showers are approaching from the south and west. We've got these showers now from Joplin through Bentonville, Fayetteville, and down towards Jasper. Again, not much in Springfield yet, but we'll have these uh, showers continue to push towards the Ozarks as we head through the next couple hours here. 47 degrees right now. Now it is 45 in Branson and 44 in Ava, so temperatures are holding mild because of the uh, south winds out there this morning, sustained about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So wet roads as we head through the day, we'll have some rounds of showers as we head through the morning hours here. Grab the umbrellas, you'll need them through dismissal, a couple of showers and 55 degrees there. We're tracking wet conditions through Wednesday, gusty winds return and then cooler sunshine by the end of the week. Your full forecast is in 10 minutes. Beginning this morning with a follow-up story, several items were approved or discussed at Springfield City Council meeting last night. Members accepted plans for a nearly quarter million dollar traffic project at the intersection of Division and Grant. Plus, the city will purchase a piece of land near Roadside Park on West College Street to update the birthplace of Route 66 attractions. A $120,000 grant from the Department of Health will help fund an opioid prevention and awareness campaign. And soon you may see a citizen satisfaction survey in the mail from the city. That will be sent to 6,000 random houses to get feedback on city programs and services. Springfield will also partner with Galloway neighborhood residents to compromise on a development plan at Galloway Village. Remember, many had opinions against certain structures being built near their homes. A series of public meetings will begin on that March 21st at the All Saints Anglican Church. In political coverage now, starting March 25th, Missouri will offer Real ID compliant state driver's licenses. The Springfield Branson National Airport shared this picture of what the new license will look like. A Missouri's driver's license that is Real ID compliant will have a star on it like you see on the top right of your screen there. The IDs will be required to board domestic flights and access federal sites, including military bases and federal courthouses. The Department of Revenue is urging people to renew their licenses ahead of the Real ID deadline next year, which is October 1st. You're right to know this morning, recent storms in the area have caused damage to several homes and properties, leaving homeowners to ask who should pay for the damages. In most cases, it's you and your insurance that are responsible. Insurance agent Bob Berkey says most policies include damage caused by falling objects, but he suggests homeowners monitor the trees next to their properties. To make sure that if there's anything that looks potentially old or rotting that you trim the trees and get people out there to prevent damage. And the main reason that's important is because you're going to have a deductible. So you're usually responsible for at least $1,000 of your damage. And if you want to avoid paying a deductible in the future, Berkey says you can send your neighbors a certified letter actually stating your concern about their trees. If that tree damages your property in the future, your neighbor will have to be the ones responsible for it. 
Moving to some medical coverage now, Community Blood Center of the Ozarks and Springfield Police are teaming up to increase blood donations and honor an officer shot in the line of duty. The second annual blood drive in honor of former officer Aaron Pearson will take place Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Thompson Donor Center. But you can also visit the Bush Municipal Building from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. to donate. They'll have free t-shirts, gift cards from Texas Roadhouse, and much more there. And starting today, Cox Health is hosting a six week class that teaches ways for community members to manage chronic pain. You can learn how to gain confidence and motivation to deal with challenges that could be caused by age, illness or injury. The six class session is $25. The classes begin tonight and go every Tuesday from 530 to 730 at the Cox Health Surgery Center through April 16th. All right, today is National Pancake Day, and to celebrate, IHOP locations will be giving away a free short stack to their customers. Hannah Zettel is in studio this morning to tell us how you can score this free breakfast while also supporting a greater cause. Good morning, Joe. National Pancake Day is celebrated at IHOP locations from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. today. And while you indulge in a free treat, stick around to help local children's hospitals. Batter up, it's National Pancake Day. Uh, last year we sold over 700 million plus. The International House of Pancakes, better known as IHOP, will be serving up free short stacks of the buttermilk treats all day long, something employees prepare for weeks in advance. We actually just start getting excited about it, start building up with all the employees, and then just bringing in extra product, extra but buttermilk batter, extra eggs, and everything else, and taking a nap. But these cakes are for a cause. In addition to celebrating the tasty holiday, IHOP raises funds to support Cox Health and the Children's Miracle Network. So everything that's donated from Pancake Day will all go to the kids, and that's such a huge blessing that we are able to do that. Funds raised during today's event will directly support children from 32 counties across southwest Missouri and north central Arkansas. But actually knowing that the kid that you're helping is right here locally, in the Ozarks. That's a big deal for us um, and that's something that we try so much to let our donors know is you you are making an impact right here. Since its start in 2006, National Pancake Day has whipped up 30 million dollars for charity. This year's goal is to raise another 4 million and to help Cox Health get there, some local leaders will find themselves locked up until fundraisers post their bond. We're going to lock them up for an hour and we're asking them to raise a thousand dollars in order to be released from jail and we will have a CMN child who uh, will be in front of the jail as the security guard preventing them from getting out. You can help unlock those you can help unlock those local leaders by grabbing a free short stack at IHOP locations on South Glenstone, North Kansas Expressway here in Springfield, as well as Rolla and Branson restaurants. Different local leaders will be locked up at those locations today. Details on that on OzarksFirst.com. All right, a very good reason to go treat yourself to some pancakes today. Up next for you on Daybreak, Elisa Rafa is back. She's going to tell us about those showers that are moving in today and news about the event that Apple is planning for later this month. Stay with us. From Color 10 Ozarks First, Lauren Barnes, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.